and pieces of equipment that are located inside Atlantis's payload bay. The mule is carrying with it uh, two of the new outer blanket layers, which will uh, be the focus of some of the later spacewalks of this mission. Those outer blanket layers will replace the multi-layer install installation that's on the telescope at this point in time that has uh, degraded quite a bit due to uh, the vacuum of space and its exposure. That mule also carries with it the Science Instrument Command and Data Handling Unit, or SCI and DH. This will be the focus of the very first spacewalk to be conducted by John Grunsfeld and Drew Feustel. They'll be replacing the existing unit that is currently on the telescope. The unit works by having redundant channels, an A side and a B side, uh, to command Hubble's different science instruments. The A side suffered a permanent electronic failure back in September of last year, just a few weeks before Hubble was originally scheduled to lift off on this mission. The teams on the ground spent uh, more than a month performing some tests to find out the best way to switch it over to the B side so that that control unit could, could uh, continue functioning. They successfully switched it over on October 25th and it has been working on the B side ever since then, but uh, due to it being in that configuration, there's no backup in case the B side were to fail. So the ground teams decided to fly up this spare unit that Atlantis currently has in its payload bay. It will be installed toward the end of the first spacewalk on flight day four, which will be Thursday.